Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Grandia, this is episode 24. In the last episode we made it through the Valley of the Flying Dragon, and we made it to Dyke Village, where there's some sort of acid rain sort of stuff going on, and we need to go to, well, the world map first, but we need to go to, I can't remember the name of this one, but I didn't, <laughs> Mount Typhoon, there we go, to try and stop the rain and solve this village's problems. But we did say it would just be Justin and Gadwin. But the other two came along as well, so I'm not really sure what's going on yet. <laughs> if it is just the two of them, we'll drag the battles out for sure. But it'll mean Justin will get a bit further ahead, I guess. Nope, it's going to be everyone. Okay, I saw enemies. Come here, you. I don't know if it's going to be new enemies yet, or if these are the same ones as we saw in the, the valley. Mold bird. Oh, I can't quite think. Either way, I think I'm going to get Gadwin on the go to get rid of that. That one first before he gets his attack out. And with Fina, we need to get her whip and wind up more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we need to start actually using wind magic with her to get a new whip move. But yeah. Uh, so if we go for how she's got loads of MP, so we're never gonna have any trouble in that in that sense. <laughs> we'll be doing that a lot. Got to get up to, I think it was level 14 or 15. Maybe even 16. And the whip has to go up 10 levels. Wow, that was quite weak. Never mind. Go on, Sue. Guess my taxi. Got quite a bit of health, mind these enemies, haven't they? We haven't exactly been avoiding battles either, so... Yeah. Let's go for another howl. Oh, I moved oh, away. Blow him away. Hit the one with hardly any health left, please. No. I, I don't think that's the one. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Go on then, Justin. Knock yourself out. Ah, you turd. No, you're not having the finishing blow. I know, I'm not using Gadwin much, but he's so far advanced over everyone else. You don't want him getting more EXP, do you? Or weapon EXP or anything like that. Okay, how's the EXP? How's that looking? Justin will be... Oh, he's not too far off. I'm hoping to get all of this place done today, or at least up until the end of Dungeon Save Point before boss if there is one, or, you know, something like that. Ooh. Okay. Oh shit! I knew I was coming. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. That was awkward. <laughs> that was just a fight of everyone using Howl over and over. <laughs> there were four enemies. I thought, might as well get as much EXP out of it as possible. Ooh, money. I want to kill those enemies off and do the same thing again. Hopefully, Fina's. I was going to say, hopefully Fina's wind ma magical level up, and it did, and she learned a spell called Runner. I think it's the spell I was mentioning a fair few episodes ago, where it ups the speed. Of, um, ups movement of friends in range, so yeah. She's on level 2 too. I think she's the only one who can actually learn it. Out of who we've got on us. Yeah, looks like it. It's really good. It's a really good move to get, to get used to using during the start of boss fights and stuff like that. Right. Where we go next? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh. I think I'll hold off on the magic for a little bit now. 2 MP every attack is a bit much when you're using it with everyone as well. Look up here first, because it looked like there's nowhere to go from up here, was there? Oh, we could follow those pink mushrooms over there. Oh, oh crap, I didn't mean to do uh, Yeah, let's go up. God, there's enemies everywhere. Getting a solid amount of EXP from the enemies around here, but only when there's like four enemies in a group. Like when there's two chasing each other around on the field. Or oh, out in the dungeon, however you want to look at it. Okay, just in sword leveled up there. So try and get this. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. I saw some money over there as well. Wanna try and get it if we can. Ooh, what's that? Plus the action for a range of friends. That's... It does sound good, but I'm just not bothered. You know, I'll give it to Gadwin because he hasn't got many items anyway, but. Yeah. <laughs> Whether we'll actually use it or not, I don't know. So, ooh, I see you, shield. I wonder if it's one we just bought and we wasted money. 
and new shield. I'm not saying from but yeah, so we might as well take it anyway, but you know, we can sell it if nothing else. But um Oh no, it's new. Plague resistance as well. But the enemies around here are using that plague um plague move. Uh, Justin, you can have it. Whatever really. There you go. Forward. Oh, come here. Come here. Both through. Uh, uh, Sue's wind magic le what, leveled up. There we go, got my words out. Oh, more. Okay, one more fight and Justin should level up. Where's that money to? There it is. Right, so we could just walk across that. I won't exactly do a whole... a whole lot if we do... Oh, my, oh yeah. <laughs> just one in the egg. Okay, grab that. Then two together anyway, by the looks of it. I think this will take us back. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ah, I want the money. Ah, one of me drop down. How'd you get to it then? Go down the water? Yeah, here we go. Oh, I bet we're nearly dying now. Let's have a look. No, we're okay. I mean, we are hurt, but we're okay. So, how do we... Ah, we can go around, yeah. Go under the waterfall kind of thing. Power shroom. Plus three attack level for one friend. That's a lot. Plus three is a lot, but... I mean, it's better than wow. Go on, Gavin. It's yours again. Where are we going now to get back up there? Ah, two of them. There it is, Justin's level up, and Sue and Fina are just behind, like a few fights. Not bad. Oh, it was an all healer with Sue. I mean, if you knew a healing point, a save point, all heal is really good for leveling up your water, isn't it? Oh shit! Jesus Christ, that was a hell of a charge at us, wasn't it? <laughs> Two more. Oh, how do I miss these? Come here. Yeah, come here. Here we go. Okay, doke. Nothing much happened there. Uh, where can we go now? I'm trying to think where we saw the exit. <laughs> Are we back at the very, pretty much the very start? Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, I'm not overly fond of these sorts of areas in, in games. Like the dark ones that normally have a bit of poison water somewhere around. You know, I'm, um, I find they a bit bland. I like the mushrooms and stuff, I guess, but I don't know. I'm not too fast. Hard rain's falling. Seems the protection of the spirits has dwindled away. We should go back. Surely it's dangerous to go any further. It's okay, Fina. I'm here, aren't I? No, you don't understand. I have a bad feeling about this. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm using up so much MP already. <laughs> did it just say peak? If it did, that was quick. What's going on? My whole body is burning. Look out, the rain here is poison. In a moment, this rain will turn red. We have little time left. Hurry, Justin. Come on. This one are literally being poisoned by it. Oh, I see you there. Fina's so close to leveling. So close. So, okay, if we come across here. Chest, chest. Nice. I knew there'd be something, because there wouldn't have been a tent in the middle of nowhere if it wasn't where we had to actually go. Well, plus three plague resistance. I, I can see the use of it in this area, but I just... I'm not going to equip it. <laughs> I don't want to. I haven't seen Plague as being that much of a hindrance so far in, in this place. Even if all the enemies do use it. All the enemies. It's only one type we've seen. Literally just the one type. Alright, so time to go up there. But I want to have a look around here first. Now the two I do want to... I do want to fight them. Come on. There we go, Fina's up, and look at Sue, she's close as hell as well, so I would say two or three more fights of the of this type. Two more, I think. Ah, this place is going well. I did actually have to use a vaccine then to cure a plague on Sue, so as soon as I said it wasn't much of a hindrance around you, it ended up, um, ended up needing to do something about it, I guess. Somebody, yeah, anything? Oh! 
feel like Sue is really starting to lag behind a little bit now. Even compared to Gadwin, she's slow. Um, Rara Chia isn't quite as good. I don't know. Oh, new enemy already. We'll go for that in a second. Ooh. We'll go for these uh, uh, moldy guys first, I guess. But plus five defense and plus one magic. Ooh, I like that actually. I'm gonna chuck that on someone straight away. I wouldn't have wanted to have missed that, to be honest. Wouldn't have known about it if I had, but. Five more defense and all the magic resistance. That's quite good. What has she got on? Poison resistance. I could get rid of that, I guess. Plus one magic resistance. As for you, you can have plus three plague resistance instead of plus four, because that's probably worth more. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Yay, Sue leveled up. <laughs> and also, she learned her wind level went up one. And she learned a move called Shh. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure what it does. Maybe it's like silence. I, I don't know if that's a thing in this game. Uh, it's gone moves. I oh, can't actually see why it does moves, can we? But level 12 wind. Need to get her water up more now to learn a new one, I think. Yeah, she learned two new moves along the way then. That'd be good. Go for water with Sue from now on. Uh, where's, where's it? There we go. Blocks magical when I move vacuum. So yeah, it looks like it's silency. Not something I'd probably use too often, but... And let's check the skills of our Justin as well. I just want to make sure we're actually using the element I want to be using. Both, really, wind and water, so... No, I think we'll switch to water with Justin and Sue, and as for Fina, she can carry on with wind. When I get some MP back <laughs> little look around though first. Can't go up on those mushrooms. Come here, you. Let's see what you got for us. I thought it was like a tent in the middle of nowhere, but it looks like it's just a tree stump. It looks tenty. Okay, <laughs> lizard riders. It's only one of it, so I'm assuming this can be tougher. Ah, right. She needs to use wind, don't she? But we don't got any damage in wind moves, so she can just attack. Uh, it's not going to be too bad. It is a bit tougher, but Gadwin will take care of it now. <laughs> Look at it. Gadwin's way overpowered. <laughs> too slow. <laughs> Good on you, Sue. He's actually leveling up a bit. Gadwin, the XP's going up, you know. About six, six or seven times the amount he's earned so far in this dungeon, he'll be up a level. Ish. Oh, another one. Okay. But this time it doesn't look like he's actually riding anything. It's just the bird. Yeah, clap soldiers. Okay, we've got another new enemy. So at least we're getting some variety in this area now, instead of just those mold enemies over and over and over. So if we switch into water... Go for freeze, because it'll hit both of them, I'm guessing that. No, I just want to keep doing damage. We'll go for crackle. Or, yeah, 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 we'll go for crackle. <laughs> Get a bit of wind out of it as well, so. That can only be a good thing. By the way, I'm not sure which way you're meant to go with each other characters, or if it is meant to be completely open, but... I feel like Fina is meant to be wind because she learns a couple of skills from wind, like these sorts of skills, wind and fire. So I think that's the way you're meant to go with her. Um, just attack. <laughs> Need to get her MP back pretty badly. And Gadwin, you do the same. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did Gadwin only attack the once? What a little shit. Yeah, this is a silencing one. Let's go for a crackle. I should really be keeping her MP a bit for at least at least a little bit of healing if we do need it. But meh. I'm sure there'll be a save point up here. A healing point. And down he goes. Yeah, no I'm having a hard time in this place. The plague is the biggest thing, but 
No, it's not too bad. Just since getting up, there's nearly at a thousand EXP already. This place is good. It is good for leveling. I guess every place is as soon as you get to it. Pretty much. Except for the Valley of the Flying Dragon so much. But, um, I'm looking out for items, but I don't seem to be finding any. It seems like a big widespread area without too much in it. He says as he finds an item. Yeah. <laughs> Health weed. 80 HP to one friend. I might as well use it now. I still might as well use it. I don't want to keep it. I reckon I've missed a couple of things in this place, but... Oh, well. Alright. Nothing happened there. Okay. So, if we just... We've got... I keep feeling like I can climb up on those mushrooms, but... No, it's not a thing. I saw it. I saw the enemy go under that stump or something. There we go. And Fina's fire level went up one from using fire whip. Meh. <laughs> right. Oh, God. I don't see any items around, so I think... Uh, we'll kill these enemies in this area, and then I'm going to carry on. Ah, oh, sorry. Let's get going. There is actually another enemy around here I saw, but I, I can't be bothered. Okay. I think... Oh, shit. Let's go. <laughs> get in the Typhoon Tower. Come on, healing point. Please. It's not like it'll kill us off if we don't have one, but... Ah, this one. Good. Um. Okay, we burn things off here. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we get on with the Typhoon Tower, which looks quite colourful and everything, so it'll be a nice contrast to what was outside, I guess. Thanks again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.